In the Bible, Jesus called out to a man named Simon and another man named Andrew. Simon and Andrew worked as fishermen and had been out on their boats all day in the Sea of Galilee. Jesus talked to them and told them that he would teach them how to fish for people and tell them the good news about God. After hearing what Jesus had to say, Simon and Andrew both left their boats and immediately followed Jesus. This is the Sea of Galilee. Even though it's called a sea, this area of water is actually just one gigantic lake and not an ocean. This is where Jesus calmed the storm. And it's also the same water that Jesus walked on. Simon and Andrew worked here at the Sea of Galilee as fishermen. In Bible times, fishermen would take their nets and attach it to two boats and chase the fish to catch them. Bible time fishermen would also toss large nets over the sides of their boats and pull them back up with their hands. Today, a lot of people still fish in the Sea of Galilee. But now, we have different ways to catch fish. Most of you probably use a fishing pole when you're out on the lake. Here's Mr. David using a fishing pole. Here, fishy fishy, come on, see the pretty worm. Come and get it. Sometimes, big companies will use massive ships with huge nets to catch hundreds of fish at a time. Speaking of fish, Let's talk about two different kinds, freshwater fish and saltwater fish. Both freshwater fish and saltwater fish both have two things in common, scales and gills. Scales are rough, rigid plates on the outside of a fish's skin. Scales help to protect fish from other predators or rough things in the water. Gills are what you see on the side of a fish's head. Fish take in water through their mouth and then use their gills to take oxygen out of the water and use that to breathe. This is how fish can live and breathe underwater. There are more than 30,000 types of fish around the world. From the smallest pond to the biggest ocean, fish cover the entire earth. Most freshwater fish have gills that prevent bacteria, dirt, rocks, and other harmful objects from getting inside of them. This is important because most freshwater fish live in dirty areas like muddy lakes and ponds. Saltwater fish were designed by God to have different types of gills. These fish take in water through their mouths and then salt water is filtered out of their bodies so that they can still breathe and live in high salty areas like the ocean. God designed so many unique kinds of fish and it's so fun to see all of their fun colors, shapes, and sizes. Let's take a look at some of my favorites and see if you can guess if they are freshwater or saltwater fish. Let's go! Down here the water feels just fine by oh yeah, let's just lay back and take it easy. Why don't you splash? In a minute, we will have a game where we can guess and see which fish are which. So make sure you pay attention. It looks like I'm out of time for now, but I'll see you all next time on the next episode of Creation Conversation.